Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy Valentine's Day peekaboo tumbler for that special someone or just for anyone in your life who you love. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design and let's get started. This is a 20 ounce pre-painted tumbler. Um, you can purchase tumblers that are already pre-painted and you can go right over them. This is one I purchased in a pack at a uh, farm supply store. It came with this pretty neon pink paint. So I just wanted to use this because I am doing a pink tumbler. So no need to spray paint. I did sand it and wash it just to give it a good grip for my epoxy. And here I'm up doing the epoxy method for my glitter. I'm just spreading my epoxy in a thin layer on my tumbler. I do use a little bit more epoxy for my chunky glitters than I would for fine glitters just to give them a good grip and help them to lay down flat. I'm going to use a variety of chunky neon pink glitters that I have in, um, on my beautiful glitter wall. You can use any color neon glitters that you like. Um, I'm not going to actually list these specific colors. I just grabbed ones off the wall and some of them don't even have names as I purchased them from a vendor. So I'm just sprinkling these glitters on to get a nice coverage. I'm sprinkling them in no rhyme or reason, not in a pattern or anything. I'm just kind of laying down little puddles of glitter because I want this to have a really pretty um, color shift kind of underneath. Each glitter does have a different um, color flash or transparency and you'll see it gives it um, really pretty, a really pretty sparkle when you do a peekaboo like this. So just use your best judgment. This is what's fun, just kind of laying those glitters down any way that you like um, in a nice visual pattern. You know, obviously there's no pattern. <laughs> Don't worry about that stainless rim. I didn't want to go in and re-spray spray paint this tumbler pink since it was already painted. And since I'm doing a peekaboo, it'll be fine. I won't be putting my decals up that high on the rim so you won't see that stainless underneath. Today is a beautiful sunny day and the birds are outside chirping so I couldn't resist having a little bit of bird song here in the background. I hope you enjoy it. So once you lay down all your glitters you're going to let this epoxy fully cure and then I go in with about three layers of epoxy over this tumbler to make it nice and smooth for our peekaboo. I like to show these type of tumblers that are already pre-painted just to show you that if you find tumblers that are on clearance at stores, pick them up because you can still use them and they're still really good tumblers. So if you're just starting out and you don't want to commit to purchasing a case of tumblers, um, just, you know, you can use these to practice on. Here I'm just going in with a fine glitter to fill in all those spaces that the chunkies may have made. I want this glittered very beautifully with lots of sparkle. I'm going to go in with a gloved finger here, gloved hand, and just tap down my big chunky glitters to make them as flat as possible. This is a good step to do, to lay those chunkies flat so that you don't have to put as many layers of epoxy on after. So here we are at my um, desk. I did cut out some pretty stencils. Uh, these are just random hearts that I found on the internet and I cut out with my Cricut I'm using this lovely olive green vinyl. Um, this is vinyl that I purchased in a very large roll from my craft source. It is removable vinyl and I like to use this for my peekaboos. I purchase it in kind of a color that I don't really care for that I know I won't use on tumblers for names and such. So that way I know that that is my removable vinyl. 
I like to use the removable vinyl instead of stencil vinyl because stencil vinyl is clear and sometimes it's hard to work with. This weeding tool I'm using is actually a dental pick that I purchased in a package off Amazon. I can leave a um, link in the description box below. I really like using this one. It's nice and sharp and it really is like my favorite weeding tool that I have. So with peekaboos, essentially, you have your glittered tumbler, and then you're going to lay down your vinyl so that that will be the negative. So when you go in and you lay your vinyls down, we spray paint over these completely, glitter and all, glitter and vinyl and all, and you remove your vinyl to reveal your peekaboo glitter underneath. If you've never done a peekaboo, I really suggest trying it. It is so much fun and so satisfying. Here's my tumbler all nice and smooth, so I'm going to lay down my vinyl where I want my peekaboo design. I love these little hand-drawn designs of the hearts that I found. I really want it to be organic and just look like someone drew hearts all over the tumbler. So I'm basically going to place all those little hearts at the top part of the curve there. And then the bottom part of the curve, I'm going to do something different. Make sure you smooth those vinyls down nice and neatly and get those edges down so that your spray paint later does not seep through those. You just want a nice clean edge with your peekaboos. So I'm going to try to avoid that rim where the, vine, or the stainless was showing. You can see that the glitter is just a little bit of a different color on that stainless as opposed to the hot pink. But if it does catch a little bit of it, it's not that big a deal. You wouldn't even be able to tell. <laughs> this neon tumbler that I purchased at the farm supply store came with a hot pink and a neon green tumbler two tumblers and they were only five dollars for the two so like I said if you find clearance tumblers at stores and they're already pre-painted sand them down spray paint them the color you want and use them because they are great great tumblers and you know it a lot cheaper and you can use those to practice with I love the flash of these glitters. Isn't that beautiful? And this is actually, the tumbler is actually sanded, so they're not even shining as brightly as they're going to later once the epoxy layer is on. If you're enjoying my video right now and you haven't subscribed to my, my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I have so many new ideas coming your way, and I have a ton of old videos on my channel that you may find interesting, and I would love to have you as one of my people that like to watch my videos. <laughs> so now I cut out just these rectangles with my Cricut. Um, you can use masking tape or vinyl, whichever you prefer. I wanted to use just the vinyl since I was sitting here at my desk. So I'm lining these up. I eyeball things. I know guys, people, some people like to really measure and get really exact. I'm kind of more of a fly by the seat of your pants kind of girl. <laughs> I just line things up, eyeball it the best I can, and um, try to get it as straight as possible. So I'm just laying down these strips here and trying to get them nice and straight. It's a little bit of a challenge with this type of tumbler because this tumbler is tapered and it's a curve. So that's what I like using the vinyl for because the vinyl does have more give to it. It has more stretch to it and I can actually really make it work for me um, as opposed to using painter's tape or masking tape because that's a little more stiff. You could use electrical tape that does have more give too if you don't have any vinyl. So I'm going to do some stripes at the bottom here. 
I'm using a little piece just to use as my spacer and then going in with my second strip of vinyl. If you prefer the hearts over the stripes, you can just go through the whole tumbler and just add hearts. It's perfectly fine. It's up to you. This is your piece of art. I'm just giving you some ideas of things that I thought that I liked. And I really do like striped tumblers right now. So just make sure your ends are completely lined up and your edges are nice and smooth on that tumbler. I'm going to trim this heart. I didn't really care for those little tails on the bottom. I, they were too close to my stripe. So there we are. Let's go downstairs and spray paint this tumbler. I know the lighting is horrible. This is in my basement utility space, but this is where I have my spray paint booth that I kind of made out of my daughter's play tent. Anyway, um, I am going in with this light pale pink and white spray paints. I'm sorry that it's out of frame, but I'm basically spraying pink and white alternating. I just wanted a little bit of contrasting color and I know like I said it is hard to tell the difference between this pale pink and the white, but once I get it out here to my table, there you go. Isn't that cute? I thought it was cute. So, my favorite part of peekaboos is peeling up the vinyl and revealing the glitter underneath. I'm using this little pick tool that came in a weeding tool set. That'll be in the description box below too if you want to try these out. Isn't that the most satisfying thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I love peeling up my vinyl. And this uh, removable vinyl is a dream. It just peels right up. I never, it never leaves sticky residue, and it's just wonderful to use for peekaboos. And look at how sparkly that glitter is underneath. I'll give you a close-up look here in a little bit. When you're peeling up your vinyl, be careful. You don't want to scratch your spray paint. I kind of stick the pokey end of my weeding tool right into the vinyl and kind of dig underneath a little bit with just a constant firm pressure um, just so I can avoid scratching my spray paint. You want to do this after your spray paint is completely dried so that way you don't accidentally leave fingerprints in your spray paint. This tumbler doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day, especially since I'm probably getting this video up the day after Valentine's Day. I apologize for that, but you know what? We all need a little love in our life, and hearts are eternal. So you can give this as a birthday gift, a best friend gift, um, to your favorite love, anytime. It doesn't matter. Valentine's Day is just one day of the year, but you love that person for your whole life. Isn't that so pretty? I love that glitter underneath that peekaboo. Now for the stripes. Let's see if I did a good job of making these straight.
And you know, if this doesn't come out perfect, guys, this is a handmade item. Don't be too hard on yourselves. Um, when you're giving a handmade item, there's bound to be some mistakes, and you're usually probably your worst critic. And the person you're giving your tumbler to is going to just simply adore it because you made it. So don't be afraid. Don't don't hold back just because you think that you won't uh, have a perfect tumbler. Practice makes perfect, you know. This is a form of art, and art is not perfect at all. I love that little heart on the bottom. Isn't this gorgeous? I love that glitter. Just sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So pretty and satisfying. Let's go get that on the turner. And I put two layers of epoxy on. And this is when she's fully cured. As you can see, this tumbler just turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love the variegated white to pale pink spray paint. And that glitter is just the stunner of this, this tumbler. This tumbler came with a really cool top lid that has a neon pink um, straw cover. I think I show it here in a minute. But I love this. I would give this to someone that I love just that I'm thinking of them. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. If you have any questions or comments, you can go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment box below. Happy crafting, you guys, and have a beautiful, beautiful day.